Oh, wow. Oh, we teleported. Ooh, fancy. Fan oh, put me down now. You put me down. You put me down. <laughs> Get down here and fight like a, a, a caveman. Ooga booga. That means duck and caveman speak. Taking fire. Who is that guy? Get get out of here. Home invasion. All right, let's uh, let's stick the dogs on him. I, I think I saw some bones there. So ooga booga, get him. Go, booga go. Follow. All right, never mind. Oh my gosh, he shot my dog. An ashen, ashen. We've been invaded by an ashen. What the heck is an ashen? I have no idea. But and I have no idea how we got in here. Anyway, let's uh, heal up old Uga over here. Booga, you do not deserve one. You didn't get involved. You let Uga do all the work. I heard that. All right. So, yeah, welcome back to uh, Seven Take Ages. Whoa. Wow. Pretty good, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're picking up here back at the Uga Booga Cave. The deluxe Uga Booga Cave. And I'll tell you what. I am going stir crazy here. I have, uh, I have cave fever. So kind of like cabin fever, except in a cave. Get it? Funny, right? Not so funny. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here all week. So I'm thinking about getting out of here. So let's go. Not right now, though. I just have to go put this bone away. I'm going to put the bone... Do I keep my bones in here? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go off on a little adventure today. We're going to go to a whole new dimension. Let's look at our achievements, advancements page, or whatever you want to call it. So here it is right here, the Between Lands, which is a whole new dimension. But we need to make a portal to get there, obviously. And in order to do that, we have to find a druid circle in a swamp biome. We have to kill the druids there and use their talisman pieces to create the swamp talisman. Then you take that talisman and you click on a sapling. And uh, that'll create a large portal to the Between Lands. So that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Now, as far as I know, the Between Lands are pretty challenging. And it's best to go naked. Uh, because stuff spoils, like your food will spoil, your tools, uh, regular... Fit. What's up, Chuck? What's up? <laughs> Chuck wants to go, but um, it's no place for a horse. Uh, your basic tools and weapons and armor and all that stuff is, um, is not quite as effective there as it is here. So we have to start over and, and make tools and weapons there using the materials and resources that you find in the between land. So it sounds like fun. And like I said, I'm getting um, I'm getting kind of uh, stir crazy here in the house. We got we got to go out. So we're gonna have a little adventure today. But before we go, there's a couple of things I want to do. We can improve our backpack. I actually have this backpack on right. That's in my bauble slot. This little guy right here. And I made up a new one. And we're gonna upgrade this one with um, these improvements here. We got storage upgrades: wood, stone, iron, and then finally gold. I don't have any iron, so we can't make that one. But we can at least make these two, right? And they'll add extra slots, which we're going to need. So let's do that before we go. And then we'll, we'll go to the swamp biome, which is uh, it's actually pretty far away. Um, but I do know that there is a there is a circle there. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I saw it there uh, last time I was there. So that's what we're going to do. But first, we got to make up this backpack upgrade -y thing. So there we go. Storage upgrade wood. We'll make that. And then we make the stone one with uh, with stone. Where's my stone at? I need one, two, three stone. And stone. And that's that. So now we put this guy in here and there. And then... Oh! Hold up! I screwed up. I think we have to do it in succession. Don't we? Yes, we do. All right, that's fine. Then we can make that and make that so this is like a prerequisite apparently so you have to upgrade this one first to the wooden variety all right so there we go now that is the wooden variety now we can upgrade that to stone okay fabulous and now apparently this one has um way more slots yes so wood upgrade stone upgrade and my guess is iron and gold will add two more rows so that is Fantastic. Now, we're going to leave that right there. We're not going to use it yet. We don't need it right now because we're going to take this off and leave this stuff behind when we go to the uh, between lands. But first, we got to go kill some druids. And you guys are going to stay here, okay? Guard the place. Apparently, there's ashen around. And we can't have that. Oh, wait. One more upgrade before we go. So, I went back down to the beneath dimension and got a bunch of black quartz. And with black quartz, we can upgrade our armor. 
And this stuff is really easy to make. It's just like uh, regular old vanilla armor, but it's even better than the bronze. Check it out. So that's six defense as opposed to five with the bronze. So this is an upgrade, and we're going to make the pants, and we're going to make a helmet, but we're not going to make the booties. The booties, we're going to stick with our wild dog boots for now, but let's, uh, let's try this stuff on. Awesome. All right, so now we can get rid of our bronze, and I'm going to make a... Hold on, we're going to make an armor stand for this. I have all the stuff we need. We'll make the bibliocraft one because it's awesome. We can make the vanilla variety as well, however... We're just going to bang this out, because I like Bibliocraft. And let's put this over in that corner right there. Bring it up, and then we just slide them over here. And where's my boots? I think I got some boots over here. Don't I have them with my... Yes, right here. <laughs> I knew I had the bronze boots around somewhere. We want to complete this ensemble. Up. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to put them on there. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. You like it? Chuck likes it. Good. Now, let me get organized, and we're going to go to the swamp biome. Oh, by the way, one more thing we can make with oak wood planks siding. Check it out. A boat. Regular old Minecraft vanilla boat. Fantastic. And we're going to make two of those because they do break, right? <laughs> Unlike the rafts, um, they, do, they can break. At least I don't think the rafts can break, but the rafts are super slow. The, new, the old boats are much, much faster. And uh, more reliable, other than that, they can break. So we're going to bring two. Oh, they wait. Have they always stacked? What? Uh, okay, well, I like that. I like that they stack. I, I don't recall if they actually stack in vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> I, I forget. I don't remember. But they do now, so that is great. Because we have to go all the way over to the swamp biome, which is super far. We're right here, Deluxe Ooga Booga Cave. So we're going to go all the way down to the southeast. This is all ocean. Down, 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 past the Sunflower Hamlet to the Sweet Cenote, and this is where the swamp is. And I could have sworn I saw across this river, right over here, or around here somewhere, it was a, um, a druid circle. At least it looked like a druid circle. I'm not sure, but that's where we're going to find one, over in the swamp. So let's go ahead and have some dinner, and I'm probably going to sleep before we go. Before we make this long trip, and I'm going to get organized as well. So, hold tight. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Booga booga. That means, hi, mom and dad. I'm back. <laughs> but I can't stay. Heading over to the swamplands to find a druid circle to kill some druids to make a scepter to go to the betweenlands. So, uh, hey, have a, have a nice day. We'll see you later. <laughs> so, yeah, we're back, in the, we're back in the spawn town here. And I, I just have to make one quick stop. And I think what I need is over in this direction. You know, the slime thing is pretty good. Unless there's a lot of trees around. But uh, hold on a sec. I gotta go this way. I gotta go right here near that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I overshot it. All right. I don't want to land in the lava. So let's let's walk now. All right. Let's grab some lava. There's something I want to do. I meant to do this before, but we did not have time in the last episode. I have my porcelain tank here, which is empty. And we're going to grab some lava and then dump it in here real quick. And it melted that, that, uh, that clay bucket. Of course it would. <laughs> It's made out of clay. It does say it will literally melt away after transporting hot liquid. So now that is done, and there is our liquid inside the uh, the porcelain tank, which we can bring back home, just like this. Just whatever you do, don't, don't fall in the lava, please. Yeah! Oh, oh, did it? It retains liquid. How does, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hope we got it. Okay, it's still there. <laughs> I shouldn't have put it so close. Anyway, so yeah, now we have lava, and that will power our melter back at the uh, Ooga Booga Cave so we can smelt um, iron. Because iron is uh, requires a lot, of, a lot of heat to melt. So now we can do it. All right, now let's get going. We gotta go all the way down here to the southeast to the Sweet Cenote. Uh, but first we gotta get to the water. So let's get over to the water and put our new boat in it. Right here, perfect. We got two boats, we only need one. Oh, look at that, isn't she lovely? And our maiden voyage and our new oak boat. It's so much faster than those stinking rafts. Oh gosh, is that a shark? Holy smokes, I have not seen a shark before. There's two of them, hammerheads. Oh gosh. Now, as far as I know, these boats can be destroyed. Um, unlike the rafts. So let's not uh, let's not play around with the sharks, shall we? 
we have to go all the way down here so i will meet you guys there because it's a long trip oh man there's a piranha the last thing we need is a piranha chewing on this boat and that's why i have a backup just in case all right i'll see you guys at the swamp biome and we'll get this done and hopefully in this episode at some point today we'll get to the um we get to the between lands when can we ever fly in this game <laughs> this is crazy booga booga that means excuse me sir but uh i could use some directions can you help me out uh, okay Thanks. i guess not anyway we're here <laughs> <laughs> so that up there, I do believe, is the Druid Circle. You can't really see it from down here, but uh, there's little purple runes on black stone, and as far as I know, there's a circle -y thing up there, and I think that's what we're looking for. I hope so, anyway, because this was a long trip, and it weren't easy. Um, so let's, uh, let's go to bed, and then let's get over there and go see if that's what we need. Now, I do have a tent. Do I not... I do. All right, fantastic. But we got to clear a little space here. Oh, jeez. That tent down. We'll create a spawn point, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Bang! All right, get out of here, chicken. Beat it. Okay, so we have a spawn point in case we die. We can get back over there right quick and get our stuff. As far as I know, that's a druid circle, and that's where the druids are going to come from, and they're pretty tough. So let's um let's get prepared for this battle. All right, guys, I think we're ready to get over there and pick a fight with some druids. And I did bring my whittling knives here to make a totem. So what we want is pig and horse, I think. Pig to help us with the drops. It's going to give us luck. And as far as I know, that will work with the druids. But there's only one way to find out, to get up there and see. So, snap back, chicken. This is a job for humanses. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, here we are. Wait a minute, this is not a druid circle. This is not a druid circle. Oh, dang it. I thought it was, but now that I'm looking at it and up close, it definitely does not look like a druid circle. It's some kind of a portal, but it's not a druid circle. And this really isn't a swamp. <laughs> That's swampy down there. Kind of. Okay, plan B. Let's go back over here and... Oh, gosh, I almost landed in my sweet cenote, which is actually really awesome. Um, maybe we can find a druid... A, uh, yeah, druid circle somewhere around here. This doesn't really look like a swamp, though. I don't know what this biome is technically, but it looks kind of swampy, doesn't it? There is one way to find out, and that's to take one of these creeping moss and click... Uh, right click, shift right click. It is a, it's a lush swamp. It is. Okay, it's a lush, a lush swamp. So there could very well be a uh, druid circle here. It's not a very big biome though. All right, well, I'm going to have a look around for this druid circle. Sorry about that. I thought I, I had the right thing, but nope. I was, hold on. <gasps> There's one. Yes, 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 yes. I knew this was here all along. Meant to do this. Yep. That's what we're looking for. That's the place. All right, let's do it. Let's eat. And let's get a totem down here right quick. Right quick. Go. 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 Totem base. Uh, horse. Actually, we're going to need the other one too, right? I'm surprised the druids have not come out yet. We need um, Piggy to give us some extra luck. Which means we're going to have to fight right around it. But we can make another one over here. Hey, that's that guy that didn't give us directions. Ooh, maybe it's some kind of conspiracy. He must be uh, in cahoots with these guys. <laughs> and another piggy wiggy there. What the heck? There's a guy here. Hello? Sir, you seem really far from home. He's a butcher. What are you butchering? Um, you really live this close to the druid circle? Are you crazy? Well, this does give us a little place to hang out, doesn't it? Oh, this is a night. Look at all this stuff this guy has. A bear pelt. Broken spear. <laughs> okay. You know what? We could duck inside there if things get hairy. Just waiting for these um, druids to show. Oh, you know what? <gasps> I think this one's broken, guys. I think it's broken because there's no um, there's no spawner. 
There's supposed to be a druid spawner underneath this thing, and it looks like the body of water has ruined it. Because there's no druids. Oh. Are you kidding me? The one circle we find is not even active. You could have told me that before I put my totems out, you know. Thanks. Really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, we can't do anything here because we got to get the druids. We need their stuff. So, I'm going to go look around for another druid circle. So, hang tight. Be right back. Ooga booga. That means when it rains, it pours. Turn around. Check it out. We got a druid circle. But not just one. Two. There's another one over there. So, if this one doesn't work, then maybe that other one will. So let's go ahead and put up our little piggy totem. Oh, hi! Here they come! Ow! Oh, hold up, buddy! Hold up, hold up! I ain't ready for you! Oh, you know what? I gotta put my shield in. Where's my shield? Oh, he's gonna pick us up and drop us like that. That's what they do. They levitate you, and then they throw you up in the air. And let's see if that guy dropped anything. Hold on. So, what did he drop? An apple? Oh, don't eat it. It's probably poisoned. No, he didn't drop that. He dropped nothing. All right, let's, uh, let's get back in there. But first, we need our shield. I completely forgot about my shield. Um, let's eat up. And that's what they do. They spawn in. You kill them. You get their stuff. Hopefully. And then we can make that scepter. Now we just wait. Come on, you stinkers. Here, let's put this over here somewhere. Let's make another one. Totem base. Piggy Wiggy. And we can put some horse on this too to give us a little extra strength. Not that we need it. Not that we need it. We are professionals after all. Now, this one does have a spawner, obviously. Hi! Oh, look at that. Yeah. Get wrecked. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Did he drop anything? A sapling! They drop everything but the stuff I need. <laughs> Go on. Oh, my shield doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it does. There we go. Oh, and it hits, it hits pretty fast and hard, though. All right, he dropped a ball, but that is not what we're after. Oh, geez, can I eat? I was going to have a grape. Oh, wow. Oh, he teleported. Ooh, fancy. Fan oh, put me down now. You put me down. You put me down. <laughs> Get down here and fight like a, a, a caveman. <laughs> All right, he dropped something. He dropped something. A swamp talisman piece. I think that's good. Okay, now we can eat my grape. All right, we could. We could actually... Let's get rid of these things because they're annoying. Wait, ah! Oh, jeez. Sorry about your crops, pal. All right, shield is amazing. Hopefully, it can last through this fight. Oh, he's picking me up. That means I'm just going to shoot you then. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> I got all the weapons full. Uh, what did he drop? Nothing. Nothing at all. We only have that one thing so far. Yeah, this is going to take some time. Oh, man, they sneak right up on you, don't they? I don't like when you do that to me. I think we can fix this shield with stone anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got. he dropped something. He dropped something. A swamp talisman piece. Oh, these are different pieces. I think we need four total because you got to put them in here. Like one there, one there. Right? And then that thing there and that one there. So all kinds of pieces. So let's keep fighting. Don't want to pass it. There we go. Wolf. That'll give us some extra strength. And let's go ahead and have a meal. Oh, someone's lifting me and throwing me. Oh, I didn't even hear this guy. Sneak attack. Is that how it's going to be? Oh, and he's picking me up, which means... I see you. <laughs> you sneaky little... You sneaky little... Look at the runes here. It's so cool. I really like this spot a lot. I love how the rune... This, like, that animation right there is amazing. Oh, you can even see the pieces on there. Wow. That really looks good, doesn't it? Oh, carrot. Oh, here he comes. No, he's not. He's waiting. Oh, there he goes. Hi! <laughs> right between the eyes. Man, they teleport right into your face, don't they? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I can't quite predict their attack pattern. Oh, we got the thingy. We got another one. So let's put that one in there. It's number three, right? Yep. It's a good thing they only come in one at a time. Because that it could be tough if there were more than one. Maybe it's just because I'm killing them fast. Oh, did I get it? I got a bone. All right, let's fix up that shield. Ah! What's that? It's behind the pillar. I know you're back there. Ah! Uh -huh. Now I get the sneak attack. <laughs> Ow! Where'd he go? Gotcha! He's hiding behind the vines. Not gonna help. Oh! I think that was it. Unless it was a fish. Looked like a fish. Was that a fish? No, it's a thing. It's a thing. Put it in there. 
And then what goes here? Oh, my bad. Yep, that's we already have that piece. We need is one piece we don't have yet. That these uh, little stinkers have not. Ah, dang it! Why do you do that every time I go to get a bite to eat? So rude. I'm running out of patience, you guys. Oh yeah, that doesn't hurt. All right, I think is that the piece? That's the piece. Thank you very much. Let's put it in there and stand back. Oh, wow. Listen to that. It even comes with music. That's so cool. This is amazing. Oh, I think the runes are lighting up too. Or had they been lighting up all that time? I don't know. And there it is. That's sick. Now what? How do I get it? Give it to me. Swamp Talisman is now ours. It is now ours. Where is it? Give me that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Almost, anyway. All right, we got it. We are an adventurer. Obtain the Swamp Talisman. We got a whole new tab here. Dank world. We got to step through the portal. We got to make the portal first before we can step through it, obviously. So now we're going to head back home and we're going to uh, we're gonna use this sapling right here. It's a special sapling that came from this area. So it has a special meaning. Now, the, um, the spawner is still down there. We, oh, gosh, Luke is coming. All right, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Where's my tent? I got a tent over here. I went back and grabbed it. All right, I'm going to go to bed, and then... Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. This... No, dude. Come on, really? I have time for you. All right, can I go to bed now? Anybody else? Nope. All right, we're good. Good night. Okay, it is now day. It's safe for now. Let's grab our tent and let's head back home. Oh, who that? Oh, Enderman? What the? Oh, there's Enderman now. What? Enderman now? Yeah, we didn't have Enderman for a while in the first couple of ages, did we? But now we have Enderman. That's pretty cool stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Where the heck am I anyway? Are we ever gonna have to come back here, I wonder? I'm gonna put this place on the map in case we ever have to come back this way. Druid circle. All right, cool. So there's the sweet cenote. That's how far we had to go. But yeah, this is a real, a real swamp. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head back now and I will meet you guys back at the Ooga Booga Cave and that's where we're gonna make the portal. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Booga booga! That means I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day. That's a song, by the way. Look it up. Good song. All right, anyway. So we're back at the Ooga Booga Deluxe Cave, and I have cleared out an area for our Between Lands portal right over there. Chopped down some trees, and it's nice and flat. And that is where we're going to go ahead and make our portal to the Beneath uh, Between Lands. What was that? Did I just hear? Oh! Hello? Oh, we have a visitor! Hey! We have a villager here. <laughs> Hello, sir? Oh, hi! What's your... Uh. Dude! Ow! Hey! Stop it! God, dude, use your words. What is wrong with you? Oh, you want to go? Then bring it outside, pal. Come on, bring it outside, whatever your name is. What is this guy? He's like a mad hobbit. Did you catch the mad cow disease? Oh, maybe he's the inspector here to uh, investigate the mad cow murder. Uh. Well, this is not how you get it done, buddy. Just... I, hey, relax, would you? Oh, you are. What is wrong with you? All right, you know what? Fine. If you're not gonna stop punching me, then you can stay outside. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Then bring it outside. If that's how it's gonna be, I'm going for it. Oh, you. Who? What's your name? Viscount Tarquell Fumbleford? Do you give up yet? You give up? Here comes a knockout punch. Knocked him out. Ooh, what did he drop? Wait a minute. Did he just drop something? Oh, bone. I got Fumbleford's bone right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so weird. I don't even know who the heck that guy was or what he was here for. Must have come through the portal. I thought maybe he was the uh, the homicide detective to check in on this crime scene over here to investigate. Still waiting for that crime to be solved. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's just put down this porcelain tank over here real quick. Get that out of there. This is the new one. Oh, no, nope, that's the old one. Porcelain tank has the lava, of course. We wouldn't fetch that. And that has lots and lots of lava. Look at that. Lovely, lovely lava. Temperature up to 1300 degrees something. 
But uh, we're not going to play around with that right now because we don't have time. Uh, I'm just going to drop that here. Oh, I actually have two of these darn things, don't I? So, yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and get going. Let me just drop this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got all the stuff. We don't need it. And how about uh, Fumble Ford's bone? Let's go put the Fumble Ford's bone over here in the evidence. But let's not confuse it with the Mad Cow's bone. That is the Mad Fumble Ford's bone. So, yeah, there's something going on here. Something in the air. I don't know what it is. But uh, we will investigate that after we get back from the Beneath Lands, which we should probably go do right now. There's no time like the present. And I am ready. I dropped everything off here. I got all my food which is apparently going to rot if we bring it, so we can't bring it to the Beneath Lands, but I will fill up my belly right now. Um, and we're going to get a fresh, clean start over at the Beneath Lands. So let's go do it. we got the sapling, and we have our new little scepter -y thing, and we're going to go right over here and do it. I'm going to bring one berry just to see if it actually does... Um, spoil, which I'm pretty sure it does. I'll bring a few fibers too, but like I said, I think a lot of the stuff that you get in this world is going to be fairly useless in the beneath. Alright, so we're going to put the sapling down in a relatively central location right there. Um, and now we just whack it with, not the sling, but this guy right here. Swamp Talisman. Bing! Oh! Wow! That was quick! I thought it was going to take time to grow into something, but nope. It worked, and here we are. We're inside. Uh, what do we do? Oh, okay. It just made a giant tree. Holy cow, look at the size of this thing. It's awesome. It's got roots and everything. <laughs> All right, so now we just have to, I guess, do we just step on this part right here? Because there's nothing inside. I guess we just stand here. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Waiting, waiting, well something's happening. Oh, here we go! Loading terrain. Wilderness. Ooh, we got a new little uh, gauge down there. I think that's like um, your corruption gauge or something. You have to eat sap to, uh, to keep that under control. Holy cow, all right, we're inside. Something out there. Hello? The Between Lands Dank World. I think someone's crushed. I think somebody got crushed under the tree. <laughs> it's the Wicked Witch of the East. Or is it the West? I forget which one was the bad one. Oh, look at that little guy. Ooh, somebody down there, all right. Oh, 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 oh lag. Oh, oh, God. oh, lag, 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 lag. Get it back inside. Get back inside. Get back inside. I got a bit of lag here. Let me see if I can clear that up. Reload all the chunks. Okay, it seems like I got some serious chop here. I'm going to have to leave and come back. That sometimes happens when I travel to new dimensions with this mod pack. Having said that, I think we're just going to call it quits right here because it takes like five minutes for this mod pack to load. And um, we don't really have much time to do anything anyway. Oh, wait a minute. It cleared up. I think it cleared up. Yes, it did. Probably because my, uh, my recording software slowing down the chunk loading but it seems like it's okay now all right we'll take one quick look outside and then uh we're gonna call it a day swamp reeds these are very very useful for um crafting all right let's step outside and just have a peek see where we are oh it's lovely so i think it's kind of like the twilight forest where it's always relatively dark now can i step in this stuff i don't think so did i bring any dirt i brought some dirt all right, let's go get this right here because I think we're going to need these things. And I don't think we should step in that poison. Hi, pal. What is that thing? It's like some kind of a zombie of some kind. I see his ribs. I see it looks like mushrooms growing on his shoulder. <laughs> Come on over here and say hi. Let's say hi to this fella right here. Come on over here, buddy. No? All right, I really don't want to step on this stuff. Uh, it's a swamp hag. Oh, it's a hag. Oh, oh my gosh, is she tough? Holy smokes! Back up, back up, lady. You're not my type. How oh, are you pushing me into the stuff? Oh, you rotten little. All right. Well, see, the our weapon here is not doing as much damage as it would in the overworld because, like I said, our weapons and tools and probably all the armor and stuff 
It's not quite as effective. But it'll do the job if we just stay away from her. The old hag. Now, what did she drop? Slimy bones, which are used for crafting new tools, in fact. And rotten... Oh. Oh, my wild berries actually came through okay. Oh. Oh, because I thought all food was going to uh, rot. That's what I was told. That's what I read. But, like I said, we're out of time. Let's just have a look at what we can craft with the slimy bones. Pretty much everything. Bows. Swords. Shovels. Yeah, pickaxe, we really want this right here, but we need weed wood sticks. Which we can get from weed wood trees, which I believe that's a weed wood right there. Now, can I step on this stuff? Oh, oh, it's algae. I'm kind of in it a little bit. I'm a little bit in it. <laughs> it doesn't seem to do anything harmful, though. Just keep your head above that water. You don't want to get that stuff in your mouth, you know what I mean? Oh! I'm under. I did what I said I didn't want to do was put my face under, and I did. And now I'm paying the price. Something's happening here. Um, let's go over... Okay, we have a few minutes. I think we have a few minutes. Let's go over here. So maybe I'm not actually standing on the algae. I was just on some ground or something. What is that? I hear something growly. Is there something down there? Oh my gosh, what is that thing? There's something in the water. Something in the water. Uh, it's right here. I feel like Luke Skywalker in the trash compactor. Something in the water. <laughs> okay, we're safe. We're on swamp grass, apparently. Uh, we're out of the water. That's good. Although it is getting dark. And here's the weed wood right here. So we are going to actually... Whoops. Make a... Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. How slow. Getting harder wood. All right, we got the hard wood right now. And I'm actually going to make... A hole inside of this tree but uh, yeah I hate to say it but we we do have to call it quits for right now guys so we'll pick up right here in the next episode and continue in the bene uh, between lands and do some exploration and uh, we'll get started here it looks like a lot of fun so all right we'll see you next time hope you enjoyed oh look at that I see a lightning bug in the back over there oh I love this place so much already all right, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.